Assalamualaikum and good day. My name is Sally Nabila and I'm going to present on my final year project titled Anti-Skin Aging Effect of Ragaria and Sanana Sadaj. For the background we study, it is described that skin contributes one seventh of human total body weight and consists of three types of layers which are epidermis, the top layer, dermis, the middle layer, and hypodermis, the bottom layer, and each of them play an important role to our skin. As we age, our skin effectiveness will go through a minor alteration at a pace that is accelerated as we get older. Hence, this will result into the appearance of fine eye, wrinkle, loose facial skin, as well as hyperpigmentation. However, studies have shown that strawberry has a high level of antioxidant capacity, which are able to fight against fair illegals, which are the main causes of skin aging. Epidermis, which is the skin top most severe in imperfection, hydration, production of new skin cells, and the formation of skin color. It consists of three types of cells, which are keratinocyte, known as skin color, melanocyte, known as pigment producing cell, and Langerhans cell, known as immune cells. Dermis, on the other hand, is made out of complex extracellular matrix that provide skin flexibility, firmness, and compliance. It also protects the body from stress and strain while supporting the organ through complex vascular, lymphatic, and neuronal system. Lastly is hypodermis, which is the skin deepest yellowish layer comprised of a network of fat that serves as an insulation layer, retaining heat, absorbing shock, and also securing the vital organ. It is also a home to a blood vessel, nerve, and hair follicle. Next is skin aging. Skin aging is a natural and multifaceted process and it is determined genetically but it can be accelerated by environmental, mechanical or socioeconomic factors. Studies have proved that slow rates of basal layer skin production may cause a dermal thinning that leads to the formation of a line and later will turn into wrinkles. Factor called skin aging can be classified into two, which is intrinsic factor and also extrinsic factor. Intrinsic factor is influenced by the degenerative effect of periodical, hormonal shift, oxidative stress, coagulation, as well as genetic mutation, while extrinsic aging is influenced by one's diet, air pollution, as well as UV radiation. However, exposure to the intrinsic factor can accelerate the rates of intrinsic skin aging by increasing the level of intrinsic factor, such as oxidative damage and inflammation. Next, there are four types of molecular mechanism of skin aging. First is tyrosinase. Tyrosinase is a copper containing enzyme that catalyzes the oxidations of tyrosinase to produce melanin. In human, it is encoded by TYR gene and is found in melanosomes. It is also in charge in the first cells of melanin production, which is the conversion of tyrosine to dopamine. While elastase is a serine protease enzyme that is produced by neutrophil, fibroblasts, as well as keratinocyte. It primary responsible is for the breakdown of elastin, which is essential for providing skin elasticity. And upregulation of elastase will impair elastin fiber conformation, leading to the development of wrinkle and sagging skin. Collagenase, on the other hand, are enzymes that break down the peptide bond in the collagen. It is produced by a wide range of cells in the body, including macrophage, fibroblasts, neutrophil, and tumor cells. Hyaluronidase is a naturally occurring enzyme in the body that can be found in organs such as like spleen, skin, testes, as well as kidney. It is functioned to degrade hyaluronone, then contributing to skin aging by reducing the skin strength, flexibility, and moisture. Malaysia is a country in Southeast Asia that is close to the equatorial line with latitude of 1 and 7 degree north and longitude of 100 and 119 degree east. Due to its geographical location just north of the equator, Malaysia experienced humid weather all year with an average daily temperature of 35.4 degrees Celsius. According to the weather address, Malaysian average daylight and average sunshine hours were 12.1 hours and 8.3 hours respectively. Hence, even a short period of UV ray exposure can cause skin damage, so exposure for as long as 12 hours in Malaysia is extremely damaged to the skin. In Malaysia, skincare has recently gained popularity among today youth as a method of repairing and improving the appearance of their skin. As a result, skincare products such as cream, lotion, toner, and sunscreen are in high demand in Malaysia. And so, this does not mean that all products on the market are completely safe to use. According to the Campaign for Safe Cosmetic, the European Union prohibits 1,328 chemicals from being used in cosmetic as for 2009, and the example of the chemicals are paraben, phthalates, and phenoxytenol. Paraben are chemical substances that are popularly used as artificial ingredients in cream. However, it may result in breast cancer. Phthalates act as a binding agent that softens and pliable skincare. However, it is an endocrine disruptor's chemicals that have been linked to cancer, infertility, and birth defects. Phenocytonol, on the other hand, is a toxic if ingested, breath, or absorbed by the skin, which may have a bad effect on neurology system as stressed by U.S. Food and Drug Administration.
Margaret Alexander Nasser Dutch is a culinary plant that was discovered in Europe and it was first bred in Brittany, France. It is a hybrid of Fragaria virginiana from Eastern North America and Fragaria chilionensis from Chile. And Fragaria is a member of rose plant family that is non climatic, which can be grown in both seasonal and tropical climate. In Malaysia, it was harvested in Cameron Highland with a daily temperature of 25 degrees Celsius by a hydroponic method. For medicinal properties, Fragaria has powerful estrogen, anti inflammatory, and antioxidant properties that aid in the healing of burn. Protect skin from UV rays and slow the aging process due to its high antioxidant content. Furthermore, it is typically marketed as a food product with a minor market as a cosmetic product. The public statement of the study is that nations are exposed to high level of UV radiation and are at a higher risk of developing premature skin aging and also skin cancer. And 85% of Malaysians aged 12 to 24 are suffer from facial acne, with 67.5% of teenagers are affected. And lastly, commercially available products are not truly safe to be used due to the presence of chemicals that may have a long-term negative effect. As for the significance of this study, it is hoped to facilitate the formulation of new skincare products using a natural resources. It also hoped to strengthen and validate the existing evidence and knowledge on strawberry in terms of phytochemical and pharmacological properties. And lastly, it is hoped to contribute to the enhancements of local strawberry values, both medically and economically. For the research question, it is to evaluate how effective is strawberry extract as an antioxidant agent and what is the effect of the strawberry extract on the tyrosinase activity. The third one is how does strawberry extract mediate anti-aging effect and the last one is what is the potential of strawberry extract as an anti-aging preventative. After identifying all the problems, questions and significance related to the study, I have come up with two objectives of this research which are First, is to assess the antioxidant activity of Fragaria exanalasa dash extract and also to study the efficacy of the extract in inhibiting skin aging related enzyme. For the hypothesis, due to the Fragaria exanalasa dash antioxidant activity, we hypothesize that Fragaria exanalasa dash extract has a significant anti skin aging properties. And to test our hypothesis, we intend to first extract radioactive compounds from Fragaria exanalasa dash and test their antioxidant activity. For the method used for the preparation of Fragara as an dash, it is displayed in the flow diagram. To conduct the DPPH radical scavenging assay, 100 microliter of strawberry extract was made with 115 microliter of DPPH at the room temperature. The moisture was incubated for 30 minutes in the dark. And lastly, the absorbent was measured at 5.7 nanometer using Thermal Scientific Genesis 20. As for tyrosinase inhibition assay, 56 microliter of strawberry sample was made with 1,339 microliter of phosphate buffer and 50 microliter of tyrosinase enzyme. Then the mixture was incubated for 30 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. After finish incubation period, the mixture was then mixed with 19 microliter of L-DOPA and the absorbent was measured at 492 nanometer using thermal centiphase genesis 20. As for the result, this is the result obtained for DPPH radical scavenging assay. And if we could show the percentage of antioxidant activity of Fragara X Anamasa Dash extract at concentration of 0.15 mg. And based on the result obtained, Fragara X Anamasa Dash extract exhibited only 43.58% of DPPH radical scavenging activity, which is half of its positive control, which is cascopic acid with 92.95%. Next, we can display the DPPH scavenger curve with the SA50 value of 0.132 mgml. Due to the result of this was not as expected, this may be due to the high ascorbic acid content in the extract, but did not match the activity of pure ascorbic acid, which is potentially due to the presence of various compounds that may limit the radical scavenging activity. Next, it is also possible due to the presence of this other compound as well as the solvent in the extract which will reduce the concentration of Fragaria as an dash extract that could be tested as at a higher concentration. And lastly, due to the concentration tested for this assay initially was too low, hence the resulting was not as desired. Move on to the tyrosinase inhibition assay. According to the figure, it is obvious that Fragara X Ananasa Dash extract did not exhibit any inhibition activity on tyrosinase compared to Koji acid, which inhibit 85.73% of tyrosinase activity. The absence of the tyrosinase inhibition in Fragara X Ananasa Dash extract in this study contradicted a published study by Lukita Lingsi et al. 2020. And this difference may due to the concentration tested was too low compared to the reported study by Lukita Lingsi et al. 2020. 
Next, the use of dairy's oil during the dilution process of Fergaria exadenesa dash crude could also contribute to the unfavorable result of this essay because, based on study by Chen et al. 2003, dairy's oil could cause reversible inactivation of the tyrosinase enzyme, resulting in no tyrosinase activity being detected. And lastly, other possible sources of error could be due to the limited availability of proper storage equipment where the extract was not stored at the optimal temperature for an extended period, potentially leading to the degradation of bioactive compounds in Fragaria X and NSA dash over time. Lastly, according to the study finding, we can conclude that Fragaria X and NSA dash extract has a little antioxidant activity, thus possess some potential as a free radical scavengers. As for Tarsinus inhibition essay, no Fragaria X and NSA dash activity was detected. Hence, it is possible to conclude that Fragaria X and NSA dash is ineffective in preventing skin hyperpigmentation. Lastly, there are a few recommendations that can be implemented to strengthen and improve this research. First, rather than relying solely on ethanol for extraction, it is strongly advised to experiment with a variety of solvents with a diverse polarity indexes, such as water, chlorobenzene, and also pentane. Because extraction solvent will influence the extraction yield as well as the bioactive compound content. Second, it is suggested to reconstitute the Fragaria X Ananasa Dash extract at a high concentration during stock solution preparation. This minimal volume of DMSO will be required for the assay and that anti tyrosinase activity may be increased. Third, environment factor and harvest condition have an impact on strawberry physical and chemical properties. Hence, it is best to select the fruits at their optimum growth rate. And lastly, a phytochemical screening is recommended to detect and identify the bioactive agent that presents in the Fragaria X and Thank you for listening. Have a good day.